Hello, my name is Dan Breckenridge. I live in Holland, Michigan in the United States. And this is an overview of my final project for CS50, which is um, an Othello board game with an artificial intelligence opponent. So what we're looking at right here, um, this is how the game starts. Um, these X's and O's represent the tiles that are normally present in Othello. The X's would represent the black tiles, the O's would represent the white tiles. Um, now in this game you play as the black player and your opponent plays as the white player. Um, and you play by entering the coordinates where you want to place your tile. So let's say I want to place a tile at F5. And so I place the tile at F5 and um, my opponent, the AI, immediately placed a tile at F6. Um, and you just keep playing until there's a winner. The AI is currently programmed to think six moves ahead. Um, any longer than that, it takes upwards of two minutes for it to make a decision, especially towards the, the middle of the game when there's quite a lot of possibilities um, for it to consider. Um, at four moves ahead, I was able to beat it, but at five or six moves ahead, I was not. Now, um, the I was sort of inspired to, to make this AI after watching Dr. Skaz's lecture in week 11 um, about creating artificial intelligence through Minimax with Alpha Beta for traditional board games. So that's exactly what I did here. Um, I implemented the artificial intelligence using a try data structure, um, which is what I also used for my spell checker in PSET 5. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with the outcome. Um, I think this, this could also be used for other board games as well, like checkers or tic-tac-toe. You just have to program the mechanics. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching.